Hey guys, welcome to the vlog. Today is when Thursday? I think it's Thursday. Hey Google, what day is it today? It is Thursday, July 16th, 2020. There was no need to yell. Don't mind the wigs in the background. I was thinking about maybe trying a wig today, but I changed my mind. So today's like the first day in forever that I got ready. I have cat hair all over myself, disregard. But I'm going to straighten my hair because I was thinking about curling it, but I really just don't want to use too much heat on it. So I think that straightening will just be a little bit less damage because it goes a lot quicker. And I don't need it to be like super straight, but I was updating the banner on my um, vlog channel, which is this channel, by the way. So if you like like the new thumbnails, let me know in the comments below because I like I've always been super lazy when it comes to thumbnails, especially vlog thumbnails. But I realize like how important they are because like I won't click on a certain video just because of the thumbnail, and so. I feel like it's important to take that time on it and I hate that I was like not prioritizing it so because I made a cute thumbnail I finally figured out like a really cute design that I like because I was always like going kind of back and forth if you remember I used to use super bright neon colors and that worked well for a while but that was like a completely different era of like vlogging and like remember when like everything was like DIY super saturated that was like insane yeah, we're not going back there, but I'd like something that's like different than everybody else and kind of bright, but also like my own. So I haven't seen the one, the design that I did, but like it was a preset kind of thing um, that I used on my editing software. And I just changed up the color and I changed up where it was and like I just added a little bit something something. So I'm hoping that it sticks because I I like it. I feel like it's bright. You can see it in your subscription box. So far this morning, I've woken up actually kind of early-ish today. I woke up at nine, which is nice. Oh, actually, I actually woke up earlier than that, but I finally got out of bed at nine. Uh, what else did I do? I had oatmeal for breakfast, had my out coffee. Um, I was on the phone with one of my, uh, with my sister's friend trying to help her get back into her iPhone she got like locked out and I was meaning to start like work but then I got distracted and started making the what is it called banner yeah that's what it's called <laughs> so now here we are um I feel like I may be slightly like ADD or something or ADHD I don't know the difference frankly but it's like I came here in order to finish something that I needed to send to someone I'm like working with and instead I'm making a banner and then because the banner didn't have a photo that I needed I am now doing my hair and makeup so that I could take a photo. <laughs> I mean some may call it like attention problems, I call it following what needs to get done but I am really bad at like prioritizing certain things like I really should be better at it but I don't know I procrastinate till last minute it's so bad. I like saw someone on TikTok post like, um, if you're like, if you're ADD or ADHD and you don't know, like these are the symptoms, like this is like the stuff that you would do and I related to most of them and I was like, uh, hope not. <laughs> I mean like I don't really care but like, it's just, yeah, like I think in general, kind of now everyone's attention spans are so short, especially working from home. I made myself some tea because my throat's been kind of itchy. And like for a second I was like oh my god did I catch corona and I don't know I just like like I trust the people that I see like I've only seen a handful of people and especially in Jersey it's kind of like easing up right now um, but like when everything was in its peak like I didn't go anywhere I went grocery shopping I mean I still wear a mask absolutely everywhere unless I am with um, like my boyfriend and his family at their house but even then, I only kind of really hang out with him. I don't hang out with his family too much. I like see them, but I don't like, I don't come close to give them a hug or anything because I don't want to spread anything just in case. But at the same time, I don't know. It's like some of my friends like go to workout classes outdoors. Some of them 
um, have seen their like significant others and it's like I'm hoping that everybody that I see is being careful around like everybody and <sighs> it's just like you can't keep track of everybody you know so like one of my like the people that I know recently was like saying that like all of this is like kind of bogus like he doesn't care and I was like okay I'm not hanging out with you anymore like or if I am I'm gonna be like in a mask because if you're not taking it seriously then like I don't want to be at risk because of your lack of regard to like the social necessities I don't know I just don't get why it's so hard for people to understand that like the sooner that everybody just wears a mask for two weeks then everything can go back to like normal and it's just because of like I don't know I guess like the the way this country is like wired everyone's kind of thinks like independently as opposed for like the benefit of the good and being someone who's like European like to me it's just like it's kind of not offensive but like mind-boggling I'm like are you serious like you can't you can't do just a little bit more but if you guys ever wonder what straightener I use it's the GHD platinum I've had a few of these now and like they honestly are my favorite like this isn't sponsored or anything but like I straight up like only trust this hair straightener I used to have one that was from the drugstore that was like would sizzle when I would like do my hair and let's just say that is not safe or good for your hair and right now because I'm trying to like take good care of it um, I only use GHD because they don't have like a temperature setting the the straightener is already set to be at like an ideal temperature where your hair is like flexible you don't need anything higher than that you know higher than that is just pure damage but you're accomplishing kind of the same thing but people assume that the higher the temperature the better their hair is going to straighten you know so very good I like it a lot I need to get my hair done so bad like if you guys can see it's grown up to here now but at the same time I'm not sure should I just go back to my natural hair color I was thinking about going black for a while but I think that I kind of miss my like natural hair color it's like right here but at the same time I feel like without like highlights or something my my hair just doesn't have like any type of depth so who knows maybe I'll go a little bit darker oh did I just catch an unstraightened section right here let's see if my straightener is still hot oh it was still warm enough to make that change I'm not heating that up to fix one straight. I did laundry yesterday, so I have like a dress hanging here. I like to make sure things that shouldn't be dried are like hung up somewhere. So I have a bunch of clothes outside hanging. And then I have this one right here, which I got this one from Target, by the way. If you guys are interested, I'll link it down below for you. But it's such a cute um, dress. They have multiple different colors. I got this one in extra small though, and I'm usually a medium. So just for like, you know, life advice. Uh, size down because it is really big and like really flowy unless you want it to be really big and really flowy it's also really good for maternity if you're wondering because I straight up felt like I was still swimming in it and I got an extra small I don't think I have the name of it but it's by this brand a new day so it's cute I like it okay I need to figure out a cute shirt that I could take a picture in my closet's kind of a disaster, don't judge me. Oh, I got some new stuff. Oh, I have a green. I forgot I got a green top that was super cute. I can do this one or I can do this one. You guys aren't going to be able to help me decide because I already am going to take the picture by the time you guys comment. Darn it, I don't know which one to do. All right, so I just did my pictures. I now have like a cramp on my neck from looking to the side. And I realized like half of my makeup came off from like right over here, which is crazy. But I'm uploading the videos right now to my computer to see how they look and how they like came out. Um, I'm still thinking of whether or not I should like switch into a different shirt and like quickly just take more pictures since I'm already glam and like the lighting is okay. But truthfully, like, 
that just took everything out of me at like one point I thought I was gonna faint like it's just it's so hot like I really really hate this weather <laughs> um, but yeah for the most part it seems like it all worked out so hopefully I can edit these get it wrapped up and hopefully have a new banner I'm moving my activities to the kitchen because I am getting a little lightheaded um, but that's probably from like not eating all day and <laughs> taking a bunch of photos in like a really hot room with all the lights on but like you know with everything going on it's like you're paranoid you're like did I catch it so I'm gonna feed myself and I want it to be healthy but I don't think that's gonna happen <laughs> it's not the extent that I want it to I am going to make myself pilmeni if you're Slavic you probably know they're like chicken dumplings I guess is the best way for me to describe it I have three avocados that like are in need of me using them but truthfully like I just need food in my system and these are quick so they are pork dumplings and I'm just gonna boil them really quick and then I'm gonna eat them my mom made them yesterday or the day before that I can't really tell so I'm gonna eat them that's my game plan while I finish editing my banner which is really cute I like updated it already I'm still doing like the final touches, but I want you guys to see how cute it is. How adorable is that? I love that. So pretty. Okay, I'm gonna finish working on this. We're gonna eat. Oh my God, my stomach is grumbling. And my friend wanted to hang out with me today, but I don't know. I don't feel safe driving when I'm like lightheaded. I feel like when you're waiting for your water to boil, it takes longer. Cause I've been sitting here forever finish the channel like border thing oh my sister made a flower in the back and it only now started to boil this is absolutely ridiculous I want my money back <laughs> okay I feel like we've been doing a lot of cooking in the vlogs like it just, just kind of weird but all I'm gonna do is salt the water don't be shy put some more we're gonna put however many you want um, if you want to try Pinamani, I'm going to tell you right now, all around the world, I'm almost certain there is, uh, let me turn the light on here. There is, uh, Russian stores, like, I don't know, like Russian grocery stores. Um, if you're in Jersey, they're called net cost. They're actually kind of cheaper, um, compared to normal grocery stores and everything there is like pretty fresh. So it's like nice. Okay, you have to make sure you break them apart so that they don't get stuck together. Um, ah, I just boiled, sprayed boiling water on my hand. Awesome! But long story short, you can get them pre-made there. Editing Lena here. I'm editing this vlog and I just want to say I'm not pregnant. <laughs> I... Like, from watching the vlog, like, me mentioning maternity and then I'm, like, bloated in these leggings, at certain angles, I'm like, dude, I look pregnant. So, just wanted to clear it up before anybody comments it, because I questioned it. I'm like, why do I look so pregnant? But, yes, those pinmania were really good, by the way. Highly recommend. And if you are Ukrainian or Russian or you've ever had them before, comment below. I want to know how many of you have. Also, if you like my shirt, I got this guy off of H&M recently. This was one of my orders, so I'll link it down below for you. It's really cute. Um, I wish I sized down a little bit. I mean, it fits nice because it's cinched everywhere, but in the back, I feel like it kind of like sticks out on the top a little bit, and I feel like I could have gotten away with a small. I don't know. I'm like, I'm like okay with it. I got another shirt that I wanted to wear, and... I got that one in a medium, but it's like really big on me. And I'm like thinking if it's worth like trying to return it to get a smaller size. It's probably not worth it, but I don't know. We'll see. I just feel like really myself in this shirt, and I like really hope that I can take like a selfie or something for the gram because it really is like the best, the best shirt for me. Oh my gosh, this food cannot cook any faster. I'm so hungry. 
Okay, so now it's almost done. It just has six minutes. So I'm going to go in and add some butter into a, like you can put a container if you're making it for a lot of people, but since it's just me, I'm gonna put the butter in the plate. <laughs> this is not the healthiest meal by any means. And frankly, um, when my stomach was a little bit more sensitive, this would probably irritate it a lot. But you know what? This is life. We grow. We change. So I make like a good one portion of it and cheat meals, you know? I had a smoothie earlier too and it was so good that I started implementing, um, what are they called? Uh, maca powder. And it's basically a, like a powder that helps with energy and focus. And like I drank coffee this morning and I still kind of felt like brain fog and I made a video on my main channel talking about like seven habits that changed my life and in that video I mentioned that I started taking supplements and I mean that video was in sponsorship with um, Neutralite but like in addition to that I take supplements as well like I love their supplements I take their vitamin C and I took their melatonin yesterday but wait did I not put it in here? put it in my smoothie bin I did yes um, I used this a while ago maca powder um, and I loved it but then it like expired and I got rid of it but I didn't use it regularly but now I'm implementing it more and I really see a huge difference it like wakes my brain up so much faster so if you're dealing with like brain fog and you feel like you have to drink a lot of coffee because coffee is obviously not good for you like you don't need so much coffee um, so I only have like one one latte per day and then if I need more energy I'll like throw in some maca into a smoothie. The only thing with this is like a lot little goes a lo long way So the first time I used this I think I put in like a whole teaspoon like a really big teaspoon like a hefty teaspoon And let me tell you that was too much. Um, I used half a teaspoon today and the day before that, I used a quarter of a teaspoon. So it supports energy and vitality, malty, nutty, super root. Yeah, it does have a nutty taste. So if you don't like that, don't put too much or like make sure you add a lot of fruit. Promotes balance in the body. It really does help so much. I like see a huge difference. I've also been implementing my collagen peptides. And for the past few days, I've also been taking these Pacifica Seek Balance Trust Your Gut um, Antioxidant. It's like a supplement. So that, and then I also add chia seeds to almost everything. Just so that I have some protein and some goodies, you know? Okay, my pinmin, you're almost done. Just give me a sec. Suddenly, I am so tired. <laughs> I can't believe for the mo like the majority of the day the only thing I did was create that banner but it like took so long. I'm glad I did it because I've been meaning to do it for quite some time. I still have to do the main channel banner and that's a whole nother story. It's a whole nother story. <sighs> I'm just tired and it's only 7.30. I'm just tired and it's only 7.30. I'm kind of thinking that maybe I should have like an early night tonight, but since I'm wearing makeup, maybe I should do like a IGTV on like a skincare like makeup removal thing because I think it'd be kind of cool. Maybe I'll do that while I watch like a TV show, but I definitely need some more tea. I really love tea. I'm in the mood for some tea today. My office is kind of a disaster after I did the makeup. It's it's all over the place. Oh, my phone died. I am so bad at charging my phone. Ever since quarantine happened, I like just because I'm home, I just never want to um do it. But yeah. I don't know why I turned the camera on. I feel like I was supposed to share something with you and then I forgot. I got wine. <laughs> So basically, I went downstairs, remembered I opened a glass of wine. Um, if you guys saw, I had a haul from Wink, W-I-N-C, wait, W-I-N-C, I said that so fast, it like 
I thought I forgot the end. Anyways, um, if you saw the last vlog I showed you guys, I had a haul from Wink. Um, I ordered mostly white wine, but I realized I still had one bottle of a red. It's called Poet, which I'm pretty sure is quite popular from Wink. At least I see a lot of people like sharing it on social media. So I wanted to finish it basically. So I had a glass yesterday and I have a glass okay. today. Welcome to my floor. Here we are going to go through my masks. So let's see what masks I want to use today. So I usually use my fresh masks, but I don't want to like stick to the same thing. So I want to show you guys my my cabinet. Don't freak out. <laughs> I got that and I got that. So I think that my skin just needs kind of hydration today and it has like a little bit of texture. So we're going to work on getting rid of the texture, I think. I have two masks that were sent to me a while ago and I still haven't gotten a chance to use them because there, there's a clay mask and there's an overnight sleeping mask, which both of them obviously great, but I already have a bunch of sleeping masks open and I don't really use um, clay masks all too much. But look how cute this is. I've never used it, so I think it'll be perfect for a video. Let's see what we got going on here. Um, I have these artistry masks that I've used already and they were really good. But I only see two and I'm pretty sure I had a third one. Where'd the third one go? Oh, I might have not opened it. Polishing masks, perfect. It's kind of what I needed. I wanna use three masks. Um, I usually do this when I'm doing like a facial and at-home facial. People really like get at me on like Instagram and stuff. They're like, oh my God, you shouldn't like multi-mask like that. Like that's too much. My skin can handle it. Like once every two, three months, I do a very deep, almost like you're at a facial. And I know that sometimes like multi-masking is like terrifying. Oh, I wish you guys could smell this. That looks so cool. How cool would that be in an inst um, Instagram TV video? I'm gonna definitely use that polishing mask what's the instructions on this one so anyways people like overreact and they're always freaking out like oh my gosh like you shouldn't be doing it like that but at the end of the day my skin ends up looking amazing after um so it's totally fine <laughs> at least for my skin i feel like i've had this for like a hot minute whenever that happens and i've had like a mask for too long i usually try you're, you're gonna laugh at me and you're gonna judge me right now, but we're friends, so I'm gonna tell you. Because I get such a huge amount of beauty products sent to me, I can't possibly try and use absolutely everything. I try to share with family and friends. I try to share with people um, I meet. Like, I, I donate as much as I can. I really try, um, but stuff that I've already touched and that like I've liked but I haven't been able to like get through, I end up using my body. So sometimes I'm face masking my chest. I've put face mask on my legs. Um, I use face cleanser as body wash. I get creative. If they tell me it has to be used a certain way, I challenge it all the time. Okay, I found another clay mask that's really cool. It's the pore clearing clay mousse mask. Two times with super chlor volcanic clusters. So I'm assuming this like expands on your face. And that's kind of like exciting, you know? I like wanna try it. Sorry, didn't mean to scare you. <laughs> I totally forgot to vlog while I was sitting here doing this. I am on my third mask now. I need to film myself taking it off. I watched an episode of Sherlock and probably could start the next one. Um, but I do this, like I'll show you guys the behind the scenes. This is like for IGTVs. I usually put music on the background so I don't have to talk. I don't really have to do anything. Um, one of my last lives, I literally did like a live on Instagram while I was filming. So whatever 
you need to do. So I feel like this has been on my face enough, so I'm going to finish it off, I think. And then I need to clean up, clean up after myself, but I need to film myself taking this off, so here we go. See, it's like all about aesthetics. So usually I will just take this and like slip it between my boobs. That's a life hack for you. If you're gonna be using an expensive serum, utilize it, okay? Okay, it's over now. <sighs> Finished the video. And now my skincare is done too. I'm like disappointed that I don't do this more often. Now I'm gonna take, you guys, this is the vlog. This is real, the real deal, people. I'm gonna shove this in my bra between my boobs. Just like let it absorb, you know? No shame in my game. <laughs> Excuse the mess, I still have the mask on. Kitty came to say hello. My room is kind of a disaster. So much on the counter and everything, but yes. What do you want? You want more? So you guys see all the droplets here? Her eye leaks like tears all the time. Just one eye ever since she was a kitten. And now it's all over my mirror because she decided that's her favorite place to hang out. Long story short, I wanted to say I'm going to end the vlog here still with a mask between my boobs. I don't care. I need to go to bed. I'm probably going to lay down and watch like a TV show or something just for a little bit in my pajamas because I'm waiting for the towels that I used on my face to remove like the face mask and stuff to finish washing so I could just throw them in the dryer and fall asleep, you know? So I have 50 minutes left. Um, to do anything I want. So I'm probably gonna brush my teeth. Skincare is done. I'm probably not gonna shower until tomorrow morning. I don't know. So much time. So many options. Alright, I love you guys. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. Let me know when you guys want to see these vlogs. In the morning, in the afternoon, in the evening, whenever, what days. I kind of want to get onto the schedule for the most part. Maybe every other day or every two days. I don't know. We'll see. But I'm excited to be back to vlogging. Oh my god, my skin looks so glowy. I love this. I love this. Okay, love you guys. Bye.